Really quick before this video starts, if you're looking for some Elden Ring runes or some kind of items from the game or whatever that you don't want to obtain yourself, these guys here will obtain them for you. Shout out to AOEAH.com. Their link will be in the description and use code TBE for 3% off at your checkout. Hey guys, the Better Editor. I'm coming to you guys with a little video for Elden Ring just showing off this cool thing. Uh, it's a mod called Seamless Co-op. Uh, you can only get this on the PC. But if you guys know, uh, in the regular game, you can co-op with people, fight bosses together and stuff. Only in certain areas, though, it is quite restricting, and then you can get invaded and stuff like that, and people can fight you and, you know, kill you and stuff like that. But this is a mod called Seamless Co-op, and like I said, you can only have this on the PC version of the game. But what it does is it let it lets you co-op on Elden Ring and lets you go anywhere you want with your friends. You can fast travel together, all that other stuff. And I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, the installation process is fairly simple. You just need to head to the link in the description, which will take you to this website called Nexus Mods. And you do need an account with this website in order to download. So all you have to do is just make an account. And once you do make an account, uh, and then you're going to click on uh, Manual and then click Slow Download if you don't want to pay for any kind of subscription or whatever. And once you download it, it's very small, so even if you have a slow internet connection, it should download pretty fast. You'll get a zip file, and inside of the zip file, you'll have a folder called Seamless Co-op, and then another uh, .exe file, an executable file, uh, and the picture for it will be Melina from the game, which is the woman that gives you the horse and stuff like that. And all you need to do is just grab those two files and just put them in your main game directory. And once they are in your main game directory, if you want to play with your friends, you need to open up the Seamless Co-op folder, and there will be an any file in here called seamlesscoop.ini, like .ini, I believe so. And once you open up that folder, there will be a section for you to put in a password. Now, you want to make this password the same as your friend, so you guys need to come up with a password. Make sure it's secure, because if anyone else has this password, then they can jump on there and join your world. And if that does happen, you know, they could be able to pull IPs or something. I don't know. They, they could probably do some crazy stuff if they knew what they were doing. So you want to make this quite secure. I would imagine you could just make it like a word with some numbers and stuff like that. It's not a huge thing. You don't have to worry about somebody joining you really, but you know, you don't want to make it simple. You don't want to make it like ABC123 because then, you know, somebody might try that password and jump on there and try to join you. So, for example, me and my friend, we made it Jimmy Janks 925 Shouts out to Jay Stone for the Jimmy Janks thing. It's something he says quite often on his streams. And once you do have the same password as your friend that's going to be playing together, you're just going to save the any file just like you would save a notepad file. And you want to launch the game from the executable file that came with the mod with the picture of Melina. And you want to double click on that and it'll load you into the game. Now it will not have anti-cheat and this is compatible with other mods. So if you and your friend both have the same mods, you guys will be able to see those in the game. The uh, developers of this mod did say that other mods are compatible with it. I'm not sure that all mods are compatible with it. I'm sure there's some kind of restrictions there. But once you do get on the game when both you and your friend have the same password, this will use a different character from the one that you have on the regular game. It'll be different saves. So if you're doing this for the first time, you'll have to make a new character. And the items that you need associated with this co-op mod will be already on you at the start. Uh, there may be one thing you have to pick up. I don't remember. I don't believe so. I think you just get them all off rip. And they will be under your triangle or Y menu. Whatever button you use on the keyboard to open that, I have no idea. But if you're using a controller, which most people I assume would be on a game like this, uh, you would hold Y on an Xbox controller or hold triangle on a PlayStation controller and it'll come up with this menu. A lot of you probably have your lantern or your horse whistle on this menu. And the, the one that looks like a pink flower, the one on the left hand side of my Y menu, that one is what you use to join other people. The pearl looking thing, it's called some kind of mist, I think it's called separation mist. That is what you use to leave somebody's world. And there is another Thing. It's a it's a it's a rule book. It says, and whenever you use that, it turns on PvP for the server that you're playing on. And I don't know if the host of the world has to turn that on or if just anyone can turn that on. I didn't test it, so I have no idea with that. But that'll let you have uh, PvP on, so you can uh, fight your friends or whatever if you want to do that. There is another item that is pretty important in your uh, inventory. It is this. It looks like. A bowl with some dust in it. I can't remember the exact name of it, but you use that to open your world so other people can join. So, for example, if you wanted to host for your friend, 
you both would have the same password, obviously, and then load into the game. And then if you wanted to host and your friend wanted to join you, you would lay that thing on the ground. Like, you would use it like you would use a, uh, a finger for multiplayer. Your friend would use the pink thing that looks like a flower. It's called the Melania's something or the something of Melania. Uh, you use that, and then he will join you after you have laid that down. Uh, and then it would work vice versa if you wanted to join them. They would have to lay that down, and then you use the Melania thing, and then you'll join them. I believe that this does work with up to three people. Haven't tested it with more than that. I had played it with two of my friends at one time before when this mod actually came out. It's only been out for a few days, and it is kind of cool. And uh, where you're going to start out on new characters, you know, you might be able to buddy up with a friend and play through the whole game together like this now there is some glitches it's not perfect the mods only in its beta phase but actually for what it is in its current state it's actually pretty good it's pretty seamless as the name of the mod is called seamless co-op now as you're riding your horses together and stuff like that it'll kind of look like gta online a little bit if you're both driving a car and one person has a bad connection they'll kind of like rubber band backwards a little bit that'll that'll happen uh, it won't be happening for them, but on your screen, they'll be kind of like TPing everywhere and glitching out and stuff like that. That might happen, but other than that, it's pretty it's pretty good. Enemies don't really bug out or glitch out much. Uh, your health and stuff like that remains fine. Uh, the enemies act as if you were in single player, so it is pretty good for what it is, and it's free. And like I said, you can only use this on the PC. You can't get invaded or anything like that, and this is on a separate server or I don't know how it works exactly, but uh, you both can play and go wherever you want to. How the fast traveling works, if you're uh, curious about that, is one person has to click on what grace you guys want to fast travel to, and then the rest have to vote to go there. Uh, so, for example, if you are the one that clicks on it, then you'll have to wait on your friends to vote to go to that same grace and then you'll be able to go uh, and if you are just chilling and then it pops up and says that uh, your friend is uh, wanting to fast travel to this location votes one out of two you would go there and then do it and then you would both warp there now the host does load faster than anyone that's connected to you so do keep in mind that your loading screens might be slightly longer if you have this game on an ssd or something it'll be a small difference maybe by about five seconds usually it takes me like three seconds per loading screen it's pretty fast three to four seconds maybe depends on where i'm fast traveling to but yeah that's pretty much it for the video just wanted to show off this little mod i believe it's cool i don't think this video will get any type of views or whatever but the mod link will be in the description you can download it it's very simple to install and very simple to remove and it's very cool and very fun actually it, it is pretty damn dope if you want to get some friends together play some elden ring without worrying about uh, like if you guys want to play with mods or something you can uh, honestly if one of you guys wanted to turn on god mode you could it works I tested it out uh, I used Wii mod to get runes to uh, boost my level to what my friends levels were at because they were a good bit ahead of me they were already like level 30s so I gave myself enough runes to get to level 30 because I had to start out on a new character and I was like level 7 or level 8 or something like that and I didn't want to go grind I just wanted to be on their level and go fight the bosses that they were fighting at the current time and that's what I did, and it works. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys did like this video, then drop it a like. If you dislike this video, then drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit the sub button. You will see more. I learned all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.